Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Evolving Goddess. Welcome to my channel. What's up, y'all? If you're new for the first time, thank you so much for joining me. Um, while you're here, though, you might as well go ahead and rock with your girl. Like and subscribe to the channel. For those that have been rocking with me, y'all already know what it is. All right, y'all know I love you guys. So thank you so much for the continued support. Um, we're growing over here, so you might as well go ahead and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already and you're rocking with me, what are you waiting for, okay? You guys, um, this is for my divine my divine masculine. Are y'all making any moves or not? How are y'all feeling about your divine feminine? Right now, this guy has come up twice during this pre-shuffle, okay? The king of pentacles, all right? So you guys are, um, you guys definitely might be manifesting some kind of new beginning, right? Trying to bring forward an offer, right? A, a stable offer. You guys might be trying to manage finances right now in your life, my kind of manifesting um, balance, manifesting stability, manifesting abundance, right? Manifesting money. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take a deeper dive though, you guys. What are, what are your current energies? How are you guys feeling about your divine feminines right now? So spirit, can I please have three cards for our divine masculines? Um, as I just looked at the clock right now, it was 111. So beautiful. All right. Bottom of the deck right now. The hanged man, okay? So this is you guys being still. This is you guys accepting things for what they are. This is you guys kind of being um, maybe awakening, right? With the hanged man, kind of go through an awakening, um, getting enlightened so you can see something from a different perspective so you know how to move forward. Um, the temperance card is at the bottom of the deck right now. So you guys are definitely... <laughs> You guys got your divine feminine on the mind, okay? The empress, this is her. All right, there's only one empress. This is beautiful, guys. So you guys have her on your mind, right? Maybe you guys are kind of wanting to bring some kind of healing. You guys are wanting a new beginning, right? You guys are transforming. You guys are evolving. You guys are trying to, you're coming to a place where you're trying to heal yourself, right? Create that balance in your life, okay? Um, but yeah, a lot of you guys are wanting a new beginning with the empress. So you guys are wanting a new beginning, um, you know, I just thought about babies. So some of you guys could be having babies, right? Um, but we're going to take a deeper dive. We're going to find out what exactly is going on with you guys with the divine masculine. All right. So you guys are definitely, um, keeping the faith, right? You guys are wishing right now. You guys are healing. You guys are definitely healing, right? You're spending a lot of time healing. You're wishing you're kind of wanting balance, right? Yeah, I feel like with this star card, I keep on getting wishing. Like, I feel like you guys are wishing, especially maybe kind of um, wishing for a new beginning, right? Wishing for a new beginning, wanting a new start, wanting to bring healing into this relationship so that you guys can start over. All right, because you guys are in your head a lot. You're in your head tough, right? So this is about, you know, anxiety. This is about fears. This is thinking about worst case scenario, okay? Maybe there have been some things that have happened in the past and you're like, you know what, you want to bring a healing to that. You want to have a new beginning with that. Your, your, your wish, right? The stars talk about making a wish, right? You're, you're maybe wishing, keeping the faith, okay? You guys maybe have a lack of faith. You guys have a lack of faith, absolutely, especially with these nine of swords. You guys are thinking about worst case scenario. You guys are thinking that your beginning, your new beginning is not coming, right? So you're stuck and you're confused and you're not making any moves, guys. You're not making any move forward, okay? This is you really kind of not knowing how to move forward. This is you kind of being stuck. This is you being stagnant, okay? This is you not being able to see clearly in order to make your next move, all right? So this is you needing to go ahead and be still like the hangman we saw earlier and kind of use your intuition, right? Use that inner guidance to kind of help lead you, all right? But yeah, a lot of you guys, um, you guys may have a lack of faith and there's a need for you to kind of keep the faith. You guys are in your head stressing, um, you guys are going through a lot, right? You guys are trying to heal. You guys are trying to heal yourself. You're stuck. You're not making any decisions. You're not maybe moving forward. All right? Here we go. But your dream and your wish is to move forward. Okay, so the star card is clarified by the six of swords. All right? This is dropping third-party situations. This is dropping, you know, heartache. This is dropping confusion. This is dropping mental conflict and you are moving forward, right? I feel like that is your overall goal. That is your wish. That is what you're wanting, okay? That's what you're trying to heal, 
Like you're trying to heal from the past so that you can move forward, okay? Absolutely. Because what is stressing you out is you want this new beginning. You want this new love, right? You want to have better days, okay? You guys want to have better days. Some of you guys are having better days. Some of you guys are going to bring a love offer, right? Some of you guys are going to get out of your head. Some of you guys are going to listen to the inner guidance. Some of you guys are moving forward. You're moving forward with a love offer. Some of you guys also are maybe kind of healing yourself, right? Healing yourself from the past. Right, and you're kind of filling up your own cup so that when you bring something to your empress, right, it's a solid new beginning. There's no shenanigans, okay? But yeah, you guys are really thinking about your empress. You're wanting to bring balance. You're wanting to bring healing. You're wanting to bring a brand new love offer, but I feel like you guys are scared, right? Definitely scared. This is kind of the same energy as last week. You guys are wanting to move forward, um, but I feel like there may be a lack of faith a little bit. Scared to move forward. But this bottom row is so beautiful, guys. A lot of you guys are dropping the confusion. A lot of you guys are dropping the pain. A lot of you guys are dropping the conflict. And you are bringing that love offer. And it's going to be stable. You guys are bringing it directly to your um, divine feminine. For others of you guys, you guys are definitely scared, right? You're scared. You don't know how to move forward. You don't know if your feminine is going to take your offer, right? Which was kind of the same as the last week. You guys are in your head. You guys are stuck. You guys are thinking about worst case scenario. But I feel like there is a need to make sure that you are keeping the faith, okay? Because this lady, she's looking at this star card like, my, what I want is ahead of me, right? But you have to be able to believe that. Some of you guys are definitely moving forward. You're coming out of that nine of swords energy. It's like, you know what it is that you want. You have been doing the work. You have been healing. And you're going to move forward. And you're going to bring this opportunity after coming out of mental conflict, right? Because I feel like you're going within. Uh, maybe you are kind of filling up your own self-love cup, which when you do that, you know exactly what it is that you want. And you're able to move forward. You're able to clearly decide how to move forward. You're able to clearly decide what it is that you want. Which for a lot of you guys, this is a brand new opportunity. You guys are wanting a brand new opportunity in love. You guys are not like... It's like, in one sense, it's like you guys kind of do have a lack of faith, right? You're stressing out about it. You're confused. But the second row was like, you know what? I'm dropping that. I'm making my offer. I want this new beginning, right? And it could, because, uh, it could be because of some kind of healing work, right? You guys are going within. You guys are healing, all right? So this is beautiful, guys. Very, very, very beautiful, all right? Um, <laughs> trying to see if there's anything else here. This is very fast. So I don't, I don't think that there's anything else. Really, it's really simple. Um, some of you guys are needing to make a decision, right? Some of you guys are needing to make a decision. That's kind of what has you stuck. But I feel like this, this second, this second row is like you know what? You're dropping the confusion. You're dropping some kind of third party situation. You're dropping the anxiety. You're dropping the stress, and you are mentally moving forward. You're mentally moving forward towards what it is that you want, right? Because you've transformed. You've evolved. All right. So. Um, yeah, this is very beautiful, guys. A lot of you guys are going to be bringing those offers. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, please let me know how this resonates, guys. Uh, y'all know what to do. Talk to your girl. I talk back, y'all. Peace.